Alright guys, so CG on this plane is, you can see I already have two lines made, but it's in front of the wing tube. So not, not center of the wing tube, right there at the edge of the front of the wing tube, a half inch, I'll make a mark here, a half inch in front of the wing tube, and three quarters of an inch. And then I just like to draw a line, that way I know exactly where the CG lines are. Now, um, this is perfect because that's your aft CG line and that's your forward CG line. There happens to be a former, this former right here, right in the middle of that CG line. So I actually use the underside of that former to get a good center point. And if I'm balanced there, I know I can move my CG either a little bit forward or a little bit back on compared to where it knife edges. So the, that, that former right there is a good starting point um, for your CG. So then what I like to do, um, I don't put the canopy on it when I CG it. So here you can see, I'm just gonna grab a, a hanger. I little made this little um, picker upper thing. Um, I'm gonna put it right on the middle former. So I'm picking it up on that and I'm just gonna hang it like this. And uh, as you can see, the CG is really super neutral, and that's more than good enough to fly. So from there, I'll make all the adjustments that need to be made based on how it flies, how it knife edges, all those attributes. That's how you CG it. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about um, setting your rates. So here you can see what elevator, low, high, and mid rates are with the rudder as well. But we're gonna start with the elevator. Um, so you can see here I have a nice little um, degree meter and um, I use this for everything. There's a couple different ways to do it. You're always gonna start with high rates. So you can see here um, I'm looking for 45 degrees in my high rates on high and then 45 degrees on low. Now you wanna make sure that both elevators are moving exactly the same way. So um, you want them to be uh, perfect in the, in the rates. So I'll just let that center out. I'm gonna pull, dial in 45 degrees. Now if it's not 45 degrees, you need to make your endpoint adjustments on your radio, plus or minus. So if you have 50 degrees and you wanna bring it down, um, and then you're gonna move to your mid rates and your mid rates are 35 degrees so you can see up I got 35 up 15 now that's my low rates so now I'm just in my low rates to 15 looks a little bit more like 20 but you know depending on how much you use your low red rates 15 or 20 is fine um, I got to make a little bit of adjustment here on the up one um, or I'm sorry on the down one and that's how you um, it's real simple now once you have adjusted both sides of your elevator you also want to get behind it and look and make sure they're both moving at the same rate and they're both moving the same distance you don't want to see something really weird going on in there um, so again you're gonna go High rates, 45 degrees. Mid rates, 35 degrees. And low rates, 15 degrees. So after making all those adjustments on both sides, the left and right channel of your elevator, and you're all done with your elevator. So we'll go ahead and move to the rudder. Um, now the rudder's a little bit different. It's hard to put a degree meter on the side um, so what I do with the rudder is I always start in high rate and you can see I'm just looking at that bevel so I want those two bevels to come together um, so right there you can see I want those two bevels I don't want them to come together and bind I don't want the server to make a bunch of noise but I want to get my max throw out of my rudder in high rates now obviously if you're setting it for iMac or 3d you're gonna do things a little differently but on the rudder I like to measure from the center of the, the stab to the center of the rudder. So for instance, I'm measuring here, you know, that's uh, 
<clears throat> and you do it on both sides. You want both sides to be equal. So if I'm getting in high rates an inch and three quarters um, in measurement, then in so I'll set it an inch and three quarters on both sides. And you don't want any binding when those when that bevel comes together to get the max throw. You don't want any binding. So now we're setting our mid rates. And you see, um, we're looking for mid rates. So then now we're on low rates. So we'll set our low rates. And you know, you can, people have different ways. You can put a protractor in there and set degrees. I mean, there's a hundred different ways to sort of come up with this, but it's the same thing on your rudder. You want that 15. So here you can see, just flipping the switch to, high rates, low rates, mid rate, or mid rates, low rates. Um, and you just want to set that um, to make sure on high rates that your rudder is max travel without binding and then go down from there. So your mid rates is 35 and your low rates is roughly about 15 to match your elevator. Um, so there you'll get, um, just make sure everything's working right. No binding, no funny noises. Make sure everything's working right and uh, you'll have that set and we'll move to setting your ailerons. So here you can see ailerons, same exact thing, 45 degrees, 35 degrees, and 15 degrees. Now there is, now as you can see, I have mine set at 40 degrees. I've, uh, I flew mine already and I really liked it uh, set at 40 degrees, but again, that's all personal preference. Um, I may end up moving it back to the recommended 45 degrees. But again, same thing here. Right side travel and left side travel have to be the exact same. So you're going in and you're setting your endpoints. Once you have all your resolution set up or all your linkages set up, your resolution set on 135, 135, you're just going to go back and adjust this. So adjusting your ailerons again, 15 degrees on low rates, as you can see up and down the exact same. There's no differential set up in this. And then 35 degrees and 40 degrees or 45 to your liking on high rates. So you can see I got 40 there. And 40 there. Now I'm going to move to um, the low rates and high rates, make sure those are set right. And then your setup is all complete and you're ready to maiden your ARS 300.